All right, so I've just got this tacked up. Got one screw here. I put a little brace right here that I've got it sitting on. I don't have it attached to the bottom yet, but uh, I had to do that because I'm uh, installing this by myself and I've got a tank that's half full of uh, diesel. So I'm just doing the best I can. I did make sure it was level before I uh, attached that screw right there. So we should be good to go from here. Okay, I just wanted to go in far enough to mark the center point so I can get a small drill bit, a small long drill bit to drill all the way through so I know which, where to come back so that I have both holes lined up on the inside and the outside. All right, this should do the trick. Can go on the inside drill my hole well let me finish this one first my center hole is right here so this wire is going to be right next to the heat duct. There's nothing I can do about it now. I guess it's possible I can move move that over. Well, let's see what we got here. here I think I can move that a little bit maybe just angle it so that it's out of the way without having to drill a new hole so now I need to uh, drill my electrical hole so that I can run my wiring and uh, connect this up to my battery I got it close, it's not exact, so I'm going to see if I can't pull it through. Success. Let's see if I can 
move this. Got the wrong screwdriver. Yeah. Okay, reaches my fuse box, so I should be able to connect this directly to my fuse box. All right, I got it routed and plugged in here. Yep, I've got power, so I'm gonna go ahead, get my, uh, this panel installed and I need to uh, put some heat tape around this to protect the wood on that panel. Before I put that panel on, let me uh, see if I can't turn it on with the app here. Okay, I've got my H calorie app right here. Okay, it's connected and it's on standby. Got my high plateau enabled. So let's turn on the heat. Confirm. Okay, it's coming on. So I just need to uh, wait a few minutes and we'll see if I've got hot air coming out the exhaust. Okay, looks like it's burning off a little bit of diesel. This is why I mounted the heater outside, right there. So what's happening right now is the uh, glow plug is heating up. And then once it comes up to temperature, then the uh, fan will kick on. It'll start blowing hot air into the cabin and we'll get hot exhaust out the back here. Okay, I can hear the the pump ticking. All right, so that's starting to warm up. Let's go inside and see how it feels coming out the vent. It's starting to get a little bit warm. I was able to get this routed out of the way. I'm going to need to clip that back, take some stress off of that. I think that's going to work just fine. I'm going to go ahead and close up that outer panel. All right, now let's turn that off. Deactivate, confirm. Device is shutting down and it'll continue to blow the, the fan to cool the glow plug down and all the different components, the heating elements.
Okay, next I attach the muffler to the end of the exhaust pipe, and then I attach the entire exhaust assembly to the box with a standoff that held the exhaust about an inch away from the box. Okay, next I wrapped the exhaust pipe with fiberglass heat tape, and I started inside the hole and took it all the way to the muffler. This is the fresh air intake and it is installed and attached directly to the diesel heater. And I have it coming out of the box on the opposite end of the exhaust. And this is an air vent attached to the top of the box which just allows um, airflow inside the box. So that's going to do it for this week's video, so I'll talk to you guys later.